No. Ah! Shine, everybody. Well, fine. Very good afternoon, actually. It's 3.40 and I wasn't gonna vlog today and I had a good reason for it and I'll tell you why and I'm still going through it, but I figured it might be a little interesting. I woke up this morning with a really bad UTI infection. If you don't know what it is, I'm not gonna go like super into detail because it is kind of embarrassing, but it's just an infection of your bladder. And it just makes you feel like you have to pee constantly and it's really really painful So I'm gonna get more into detail because I know I don't have a lot of space on my phone at the moment So I'll get into detail when I go home, but I'm here at Walmart and I need to pick up something to help me So I'm at the medical center right now. Ella actually is over at the neighbor's house um, Hopefully I had explained to you guys like what had happened and stuff um, If not, I'll make sure that I do at some point, but I get it Oh my gosh, today has just just been like full of funny stories for you guys I promise as soon as I get home and like I have um, more battery on my phone because my phone's about to die I will tell you all about today in detail but I'm sitting in the doctor's office right now I always want to play with that stuff <laughs> but they just took my blood pressure which was normal I guess I don't, I don't really know they always tell me the numbers and I'm like <laughs> no idea what that means Rise and shine, everybody. Very good morning. Ugh. I don't feel well. <laughs> I still don't feel good. And uh, it actually has nothing to do with the UTI that I had. I just feel really, really nauseous. Like, I ended up getting sick a little bit this morning. I'm just like, ugh, I feel disgusting. Uh, we're on our way, though. I just gotta run to the store to pick up some waters. So that's where we're off to now. But re-watching yesterday's vlog made me realize that I'm an idiot. And, um, oh, I hate this damn turn. Hang on. Every time. I always gotta, like, pull out halfway to see if a car is coming. And I'm just gonna have to go. Sorry. Um, so I was re-watching yesterday's vlog. And I realized that when I was telling you guys about my day, the good parts. <laughs> there were two, like, kind of, there were two things that happened to me yesterday that involved, like, strangers, um, but they were both kind of funny stories, and I didn't tell either of them yesterday. I just completely forgot, so I figured while we're driving to the store, hopefully I'll have time to kind of tell you about them. So the first one, um, when I had gone to the doctor's yesterday, um, you know, I was waiting in the waiting room, and there was only, yes, baby, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted by her blowing raspberries. Um, so a, a gentleman had walked in and I was like, crap, like I really had to use the bathroom, but I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna wait until he's done. So mind you, this probably, including me, there's probably five other patients, um, also including the guy who's going to the bathroom in the waiting room. And the waiting room isn't terribly big. Um, and everyone was quiet. If you ever go to a doctor, as you notice that, the waiting rooms just tend to be really, really quiet. Most of the time, people aren't feeling very well, so they're not gonna be super talkative. So you can really hear a lot. Um, so this, <laughs> this guy goes into the bathroom and starts using it, and you can hear everything. I mean everything. And he really had to use the bathroom, and I'm not, I, I don't mean to gross anybody out, but this was so disgusting and so funny at the same time. Like you, oh my God, it was so wet. It was, oh my God. And I was like kind of close to a bathroom door and I'm just like, and there was a guy sitting for me a couple of chairs down and we just kind of looked at each other and I'm like, like, like I'm trying not to gag. It was awful. And like when he came out, I felt 
felt so bad because like obviously nobody's gonna be like hey everybody heard you in there um that would you know really embarrass him but oh uh, yeah but we all kind of were like oh my gosh <laughs> like did we hear what we actually heard oh yeah So the second story happened actually in Walmart and same day, it happened yesterday, I still had the UTI. Now at this point I, had, I hadn't gone to a doctor's yet, so actually this story happened before the gentleman in the bathroom, I'm sorry. I, I, for some reason I thought it happened after. I don't know what, what was going on in bathrooms on this day, but um, I had gone into Walmart looking for something to take care of my UTI. Um, this was before I had talked to the nurse who had recommended recommended me actually go get prescription. Ella! <laughs> but um, oh my goodness. so I had gone into Walmart looking for something. Oh, no, truck's only okay. They're repaving the drive, the parking lot, and it's such a pain in the butt. Um. But yeah, I, I had gone to Walmart just looking for something to get for relief. I was in so much pain and I'm like, maybe I can just find something that is over the counter that may help. Um, so I'm browsing like the, the medicine aisles and stuff. I'm not finding anything besides what I already had at home. Like I had these cranberry gummies I showed you yesterday um, and that's all I was seeing. So I'm like, oh well, crud, like there's nothing I can really do. So I ended up leaving like I was getting ready to leave but I'm like I just have to use the bathroom again oh my gosh it is so packed what the heck is today today is Friday why is it so busy in the morning? um okay hold on I don't know if I'm gonna hit that thing all right I think this is good enough so so I was, uh, I had to use the bathroom before I left. I'm like, I'm already here. There's a bathroom there. Um, I'm just gonna use it. So I only brought in the stroller instead of using a carriage because I knew I was only going in for one thing and I just didn't want to have to deal with the carriages. So I brought in the stroller instead. Now the stroller, mind you, is big. So if I have to use a public restroom with the stroller, I always have to use the handicap one because that's the only one that will work. So I went, um, I went into the bathroom and I, there was like nobody in there, or at least I thought there was nobody in there. And I like went to, I knocked on the handicapped door and there was a woman in there. So I'm like, oh, okay, that's fine. I'll wait. I said, take your time. Now mind you, I really had to go, <laughs> but I was, you know, I was going to be patient and wait for it. I figured she was just about done because she had flushed. So I'm waiting and waiting and waiting and the woman keeps talking to me like she's like I don't even have a chance to pee the, keep, the thing keeps flushing on me so I'm like it's okay. So I said like I really had to go so I'm like Ella baby just come with me I was going to take her on the stroller and just like sit her on my lap to go use the restroom. So the woman's like no 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 I'll be done in a second so now I kind of felt obligated to wait because she was like no it's fine like I'll be out in a minute but I if like she wasn't out in 30 seconds flat I had to use a different stall. So she comes out and she just starts talking about, like continues talking about how the toilet kept flushing on her when she wasn't ready and that um, she was changing her panty liner and she, I don't know, it kept flushing. I don't know. She was just, it was a really odd conversation to have with a stranger in a Walmart bathroom. Now mind you, when the second she came out, I went in. So she's talking to me while I'm in the stall and then trying to use the bathroom so it was really 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 uncomfortable because I'm trying to pee and she's just having a conversation with me and I'm like it was just it was really weird she was truly a very sweet woman that's why I don't want to like describe her or anything I want to keep her totally anonymous I don't think anyone would be able to find out who she is but she really was a very genuine personable pe person but it was just very awkward timing and I'm like why would you have a conversation with someone who's trying to use the bathroom I don't know very weird but we're already at the store so I need to go in and grab a few things wow I really have been sucking at vlogging for the past couple of days I'm sorry I got home from Walmart and I have been so sick I've thrown up like three or four more times since the last time well since this morning really before I even talk to you guys and I won't lie to you, I picked 
I picked something up um because I honestly I, I truly had a dream about this last night so it kind of freaked me out that I woke up this morning throwing up so I did pick up another pregnancy test um and I already did the first one and I sat there for 10 minutes and nothing no results showed up she's getting into stuff I want to see my pee stick so <clears throat> I did another one and I'm waiting. You can see moisture. That's disgusting. <laughs> but the first one I sat there, it said you can see why is the TV so loud and why is there a puppy? Because I'm watching Timmy Tomato and he got a new puppy. But um, the first one I waited for 10 minutes and nothing showed. So I read the instructions again and it said after 10 minutes if it doesn't show it's an invalid test to try another one there's only two that come in a pack so i'm waiting on this one this is taking forever and still nothing is showing it's been well i think it's just been two minutes now so i'll give it a little bit longer and we'll check again in a few minutes ella are you gonna have a little brother or sister I don't know because they won't tell me! So, did <laughs> anyone else see that nostril flare? Yeah. That was gnarly. Oh, so annoying. That's the first time I've moved it, by the way. What, baby? What? Do I want another one right now? No! <laughs> But that is just gross. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so I set my stoke timer for five more minutes. So if this doesn't come up, then I'm gonna have to go to the store again. Which is fine. No. 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 Oh, you see the candy. No, Bubby. No candy. No candy. Because it's too close and that's yeah. why he won't sleep. Yes! Ooh. She took off her shoe and threw it. Yeah. Al. I gotta hide the candy. Because she gets mad every time I don't give it to her. This is the, literally like the hardest thing to do is just to wait and then... I don't know if it's not gonna work like the other one that Ella. I've already said no to the candy, Bubby. No candy. No, I, no candy for you. No candy for you. And it's hard though, like going back to the whole pregnancy thing. It's hard though because I've just been sick for the past couple of days. See? Like, but just with the UTI, and I don't know if that causes vomiting or not. I don't know. I don't yeah. even like. <laughs> I don't know yeah. if like this is gonna work. Yeah. 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 And it's like the cheapo yeah. equate one. No, Ella. No, 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 no. 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 You got boogies. You got boogies. Well, you got boogies. You got lots of boogies. Bubby, I can't hold you forever. I cannot hold you forever. What? There's no more candy. This is day. There is no more. Anything? Ah. I have two minutes left till I can't read this anymore. Oh my god. Hot. It's so hot today. Oh, so hot. On. Uh, all right, let's go back and grab another one. Um, but it's okay because while we're there, um, I actually wanted to film a video um, trying gluten free foods just to try them, see what they taste like. Um, and TJ and I saw a gluten free section the other day when we went grocery shopping, and I'm like, huh, that might be an interesting video idea. So while I'm there, I'll probably grab myself some gluten-free snacks so the, the uh, trip isn't totally a waste. 
watch this happens every time I get paranoid that I'm pregnant I'll go through so much to get a hold of pregnancy tests and to do it correctly and then they're always negative don't mind the windows I had to kind of crack them because the AC isn't cooling us down fast enough uh, but I don't know I had a dream last night that I was pregnant and I haven't had a dream like that since the last time I was pregnant so it kind of freaked me out and then waking up this morning like I didn't throw up at all yesterday I don't think um, but I just felt so disgusting and I remember when I first found out I was pregnant how I felt and like that was just it like I didn't wake up immediately and have to throw up it took a little while and then I would be so nauseous and I would throw up and then like I'd be okay again throughout the day and then like once in a while again maybe around like three or so I would I would have the sudden urge to throw up again so I don't know I'll keep you guys updated today I'm just taking out my hair so I kind of look presentable not like a freaking milkmaid uh, <laughs> so I I'll let you guys know if I throw up again but oh my god if this does come out positive I gotta think of a way to tell TJ <laughs> okay I gotta pee really bad but I'm waiting just a minute so my original plan was to go and obviously get a new pregnancy test. This one I ended up getting first response. This is the one that I always use that I never had run into the same problem that I did with the other pregnancy test. So I just got that. But I picked up a whole bunch of different Latino foods and drinks to try. So what's going to go down is I'm going to try this pregnancy test. Ella is going down for a nap now. We'll figure out our results and then my phone's actually gonna charge for a while. So I'll put y'all on the charger, I'll film a couple of videos, and then we'll continue with our day. Um, I know that I mentioned yesterday we did a ton of work on the house. I am planning on showing you guys that. So if you're curious about what we did, I promise that I will have that included in this vlog at some point. Oh my God. I can't even get an open. So if you're a boy, <laughs> this is what a pregnancy test looks like. Super, super simple thing to take. But it always comes with two wands. Oh, please tell me that I got... Okay, because the last time I took one of these, I took an ovulation test, which, which always has two lines, which signifies that you're pregnant. So I just wanted to make sure that this was a pregnancy test. So it does come in a little baggie. Okay, the little freaking thing just came out. All right, so this is what the pregnancy test looks like. It's supposed to be curved for your comfort. It comes with this little cap. So all I'm gonna do is take off the cap, pee on the strip for about five seconds, put the cap back on, place it on a uh, flat surface, and then it'll tell me it's test within a couple of minutes. The other test that I just took still says literally nothing. So let's go do this. Gotta turn on the light to see my results. Okay, that one doesn't want to work. This one? Okay, there we go. So I took the test, and now it's just sitting on the counter. Like, literally yesterday, I felt like such crap. I didn't clean my house or anything. So I'm just waiting until you'll, you'll start to see moisture come in through this way. Um, and, of course, it shows two lines pregnant, one line not pregnant. You'll pretty much know right away because you see how the pregnant one has a line on the left side where the not pregnant one doesn't. So if a first line shows up, you're probably pregnant. But I'll uh, start filming again once I can start to see it move. <sighs> doing this one sucks, but doing this three times today, three times I've had to wait until I had to pee. Luckily, I just had to go when I came back from the store. Which, by the way, Walmart is, like, repaving their parking lot, and it's complete mayhem. Like, someone's gonna get in an accident. People are driving, like, such buttheads. Oh. All right, you see it? <gasps> oh, my... Hold on, I'm sorry, I'm not even. I don't know what's going on. I'm not sure. 
I'm really okay. Okay, okay. I had that was really scary. <laughs> that was really scary because I swore it looked like a line was forming over here. So I'm just waiting until it's completely done to make sure, but nope. No prego for me, guys. To be honest, you guys, I'm, you know, I have mixed feelings about this because you know that I do want another baby, but we're going to try probably in October for one. Um, I just, I don't know. I didn't want to be pregnant right now because we're working on like revamping the living room and um, I've been really, really sick. So I didn't want like any infections getting to the baby and stuff. So I'm really grateful that I'm not. Um, I am disappointed. It's always a disappointment when I take one and it says no, but um, you know, that only means we get to try for one and you know, hopefully have one when we're ready to. So I just wanted to make sure I kept that result for you, but I gotta get to recording and it's so hot. Literally just got finished filming my blind bags, the My Little Pony blind bags, and then the um, Trying Latino Foods video, and I think they both came out phenomenally. I'll give you a little sneak peek of the uh, <clears throat> My Little Pony screenshot pictures that I took. I'll go back, I think. Oh, what am I doing? I don't want to delete it. Yeah, I ended up just getting two pictures. Um, of the blind bags. I took pictures of the ponies as well, but then I was like, do I really want to give it away? So I do have a picture of the <laughs> blind bags that I opened, but I don't want to spoil it before that video even gets a chance to come out. But um, I'm going to take advantage while Ella is still napping to get some editing done. And I'm sweating so much. All right, I went ahead and changed into some clean clothes this time. I'm wearing this off the shoulder because it's so hot today. But I want to show you what work we've been doing in the living room. You walk into my living room and it's wet because I just mopped. But, okay, so where do I begin? <laughs> I guess we'll begin over here. So, that used to be where we went up my stairs. Now we have to go around and then like up to go up the stairs. But we built this wall. We have a tiny little piece to finish here. Um, so we built this wall up. So he has to mud this. Um, we still have to get drywall right here as well. But we started ripping the floor up because we're putting down this new, not new actually, we got this from a um, like restaurant restoration place, but so much flooring. Um, so we ripped all of this up. So we're gonna do this room in sections because it is mainly, you know, Ella's Ella's playroom. So we're like, well, we can't rip it all up at once. Um, so we're doing it in sections, but we realized because we're doing it the long way, we should have ripped, you know, this up right here in strips because these pieces interlocked. So that I think that's what TJ is gonna do when he gets home is just start trying to rip up more of this floor um but we spent when ella went down for her nap yesterday we spent all that time just ripping up this floor um all this white you see is glue and all the brown was like the plywood underneath um we tried so hard to get the glue off but we couldn't it was stuck so tj ended up just sanding it down so it's still you know flat so the floor will sit flat after it's set so um we've been doing that I don't know if you had ever seen this, but we finished drywalling the half wall as well. Um, and we're actually gonna get, get these sheets of like, uh, I think it's called paneling, but it looks like stone, where we're gonna put that on either side. So that's one half of the wall. Um, we did paint this side without knowing that we we're gonna do the paneling, but it's fine because Ella got something on the wall anyway, so it had to be repainted, but we're just gonna put paneling over that. So hopefully soon. We'll have the breakfast bar up and running. Uh, right now that room is still quite a mess. <laughs> you can see sort of what's going on in there. Um, it actually wasn't as bad as it was, but that is just like the floor trash is just going in there and we're gonna clean it up all at once. Um, you can see my washing machine is still in there. Um, that lamp I actually got from Ikea. <laughs> so just a bunch of stuff. Uh, what was kind of cool, let me go ahead and 
step over this table real quick. Um, which will, what the nice thing is we've been using this table forever as a barricade for Ella to get to these stairs. But now that there's no stairs, we'll just be able to put like a gate um, there or like even there um, to pre prevent her from going in any farther. So it, it won't look as weird. Um, but as TJ was working, this piece of the plywood came off. But check it out. It's like paneling underneath like underneath this wall here is this decorated decorative paneling um i don't want to keep it but just figured i would show you guys this house is so sideways in the way that it was built but um originally these walls and the ceiling was going to be torn down and redone but we're just like we're not gonna have time or effort or money to do all of this so we're just gonna go through and you know mud all the holes there's some you know, screws I still got to get out and stuff. So, um, I ended up taking, there was a lot of pictures hanging in this corner. I took all those down. I still got to get that, uh, shelf down. We got to, you know, move the bookcases. Uh, there's still a ton of work to be done, but you know, at least it's being done. So that, I think that's pretty much all the work that we've been doing that I haven't really been able to show you guys yet. Um, that's why Ella's kitchen thing is in there right now you can see it against the wall because it was here but because our living room shrunk shrunk by like a good quarter uh we we're in a space um this laundry basket of all her stuffed animals that was in this little, like castle thing in that corner uh it's going up to my bedroom for now and uh, she has so many freaking stuffed animals um so i gotta move that which i'm probably gonna do next while she's still sleeping but yeah I think once Ella wakes up, it's almost too hot today. It's too hot to go play outside. Um, just walking from my car into Walmart, like I was dying, like really, really hot. So I think we're just gonna go to our indoor play thing. And while we're there, I really wanted to stop at Maurice's again, which is a store that I had gotten that white pencil skirt from um, and see if I can't find anything else really cute there. Quick minor change in plan so i figured you know what let's just go get ice cream um we're still at a mall just not the one with like the play thing in it so um we're gonna go get some ice cream and then i really 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 wanted to treat ella and tj tonight to like a nice italian chicken parm dinner so i was looking up some recipes to do so so unfortunately we're gonna have to go to the freaking store one more time i'm not gonna go to walmart though i'm gonna try a different place um for their food and see how i like it but first ice cream and then a couple hours i'll start making dinner well ella's clearly enjoying her ice cream we just ended up going to um dairy queen and i just got a small vanilla with some rainbow jimmies the freaking mess that i have right now so i wanted to i'm out of screen I wanted to make a really nice Italian dinner, so I followed this recipe. I ended up filming the whole thing, so hopefully you guys will have like a cooking video sometime in the future. Um, but I'm really excited to give it a try. It looks absolutely delicious, but I had to make sure that I also grabbed some grand rolls to go along with it. So my day is pretty much over. Um, I'll definitely show you guys a shot of the food once it's done oh my goodness once it's done cooking um but other than that that's, that's pretty much my day honestly though this looks really really good i'm just waiting for the pasta finish but our biscuits are done and i didn't burn them yes and got the parm lots of cheese <laughs> 